You can now upload and scan images in your AIs by using the GPT-4 vision block in your AI workflows. Let me show you how this works. In this video, we're going to enhance our marketing assistant by using GPT-4 vision to help us come up with some ad copy for the product we're going to upload. Let's begin by adding the GPT-4 vision block to our automation. You can find it in the community functions. Inside of our vision block, we have a few things to set up. The first is our API key. We can grab this from OpenAI. Go to your account, navigate to API keys on the left, tap create new API key, and make sure you paste it somewhere safe because you will not be able to access it again once you close this window. I've created one ahead of time and stored it in my clipboard so we can use it later on in this example. Now, let's head back to Mind Studio and paste our API key in. For the image URL, we're going to use a variable. The user input block in our workflow is configured to accept image uploads, so as you can see, I set the variable to product. We're now going to head back to the main flow, and in our vision block, we're going to call the image URL by setting this variable in double braces like so. Now, we're going to name the response data variable so we can call for the results generated later on in our automation. I'm going to set this variable to output. Immediately after the vision block, I set up a send message block. Let's call this instance a request. This block is going to send GPT-4's image analysis along with our instructions to be processed by our selected AI model and then set the new results to a variable we can call later on. That said, we're going to set the response behavior to assign to variable, and I'm going to name the variable copy. Next, we're going to examine the following send block. Let's call this instance a display. This block is going to gather the results of the previous send block variable that we named copy, as well as show the uploaded product photo by wrapping the user input variable in the markdown to display an image. In order to see our desired final output, we have to make sure to set the response behavior to display to user and the sender to system. Now, for this example, we're going to leave the terminator block on chat. Lastly, let's navigate to the test data tab and test our vision function out. We're gonna need our API key for this, so let's copy it from our vision block. Great, now we press play and make sure that it works. Good, now that we know that it works, let's publish a preview and see the final outcome. In this example, we're gonna create ad copy for the Apple Vision Pro. Great, we can now see the product image we submitted, as well as the ad copy suggestions GPT-4 has made. From here, we can continue the conversation or make use of one of the ad copy suggestions. We can now head back to Mind Studio. As you've seen, using this block, we were able to use GPT-4 Vision to analyze our product photo and generate a few ad copy suggestions for it. You and your users can now leverage the power of GPT-4 Vision in your AI workflows. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave us a message in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.